Good morning! Welcome back to my channel everybody. So today I'm doing my assorted activewear haul for you all. So today most of this is going to be tops. I have some leggings that are bits and pieces. This whole this haul I wanted to do as a like a cheap activewear haul and activewear that I found at stores that aren't really activewear stores if that makes sense. So the first one is an online store called Pretty Little Thing and I think most of you would have probably heard of this store but everything there is like super cheap. They always have 50% off their entire site. So I found a lot of jumpers um, for winter. So this is for the Australian winter, mind you. So our winter here, it's maybe bleep, maybe like one degree Celsius is like the lowest it kind of gets during the day anyway. So keep that in mind. If you're somewhere that it snows or it's cold, these might not work for you. <laughs> so the first one is the one that I'm wearing right now. So this is meant to be like an off the shoulder, but I kind of wear it however I feel. It's got sleeves that are paneled in up to your elbow and then the rest of this I can't speak today I'm so sorry the rest of the jumper is all mesh so right down to your waist so this one is a white mesh it's called the white mesh top I don't know if I can find links for all these I'll try but if I can't I'm sorry they some of them I did purchase a couple months ago so this one is the white off the shoulder crop it's good for summer and for winter. Summer books it still lets the air through, it's really breezy. It's one of those ones that's good if you want some coverage, but you still want to be cool. So I love this one. And this one I found on sale for $17 Australian. So all these prices are in Australian dollars as well. So $17 Australian. I'm gonna hold these ones up and show you, but I will do a full try on as well. So the next two are going to be, they're ones that I found, I don't know if you've been watching the style of like the really cropped Jumpers. I know Kylie Jenner was wearing them for a bit and there's a brand called Saski in Australia run by Tammy Hembrow and these have been really in fashion except for the Saski ones are really expensive so I found these as like dupes so these ones are both $14 so I've got a black one again so you can kind of see where it's cropped there so the front is just up above your chest and the backs maybe like just below your bra strap and then again full length sleeves really stretchy kind of just like a jersey cotton material but really comfy so I've got that one in black and then this one is similar it's a little bit longer in the front so I don't know if it is a different style or not it's just a crop jumper and this one was also $14 so really really good deal for those ones ah, I'm getting tangled up So the next one is a hoodie. So this one's called the Black Ring Hoodie. And I got this one for $15. So this one was a bit of a bargain in my opinion. Except for my cat tried to attack me today. I was wearing it and the little um, ring. Where is it? This little ring was hanging down by my waist. And he jumped up, pulled at it and like hissed and then ran away. Like, what? So it's basically just a black hoodie zipper up the front draw strings there and long sleeves this one's really warm but this one is very cropped as well you'll see with the try on section it's it's really high but i love that because i'm a shorty i'm only five foot four so for it to sit high up on my waist it makes my legs look longer so everybody wins so like I said, this one's 15 dollars for that one Okay, so next one. This one's from boohoo.com. I got this with a couple other things, but this is the only really like fitness based thing I found on there. And this is just a cropped orange hoodie. So it says, what does it say? It says girl gang on the front. It's got a hood on the top. And this one's really cute. It's got like bell sleeves. See, they're like really wide sleeves, but this one's really cropped. So it comes, it's just below your bust, a little bit higher than the ring cropped hoodie that I just showed you. Uh, this one's a little bit uh, thinner the quality than the black one, so it is a little bit um, less cozy, I guess. So for winter, I think the ring hoodie would be the best one. This one, not so much. Okay, on to shirts. So I have a bunch 
and a bunch is not underestimating it. I definitely have heaps. So the first site that I'm gonna show you guys, or sites, the store here in Australia, but you, they will have a website. This is called Glossons. I think that's how you say it, Glossons? Glossons. Anyway, so I went to their store a couple months ago and found this. It's just a black mesh singlet, but it is Razorback, which is what kind of made me think I could use it for active wear. Oh my God, it's got a racer back. That'll work fine. And these ones really are good, like really light, but the pro to them is that if you would prefer to be working out in a crop top because it's just super hot, but you're not one of those people who's super confident to work out in just a crop top, these are gonna be your best friend. They sit a little bit long on me. I like to tie them in a knot at the back, so I'll point that out to you when I try them on. So I have that exact same top in black and in white. So the mesh singlets were both $12 each, Australian. The other thing I got from Glissons is this mesh long sleeve. I don't know why mesh, but I think they must have had a, some sort of thing going on. Anyway, so this is a mesh long sleeve. I think I've worn this in one of my YouTube videos previously, and it's basically exactly the same. Mesh shirt with just long mesh sleeves. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but not too much. This one's really cool because it kind of gives an illusion when you wear it, kind of wear all your, um, lumps and bumps are. <laughs> It'll kind of give shadows and highlights, so it makes you look really curvy. This one was $15, and like I said, it's a good staple piece, just something to have. You could also wear it as everyday fashion. I'm sure if you had fashion sense, unlike me, you could find a really cool way to work this in with like jeans and singlets, and I'm just not that fashionably talented, guys. All right, so the next ones are gonna be from Buff Bunny. So these ones are a little bit more expensive. So uh, Buff Bunny or Heidi Summers, she has a YouTube channel and she's also started this clothing line in the last few years. And I saw these tops and I just had to get them. Like I said earlier in this video, I am a sucker for anything that's cropped. Because I'm a short person, having that kind of mid, mid-length shirt instead of a full length gives the illusion that I have longer legs and I'm a taller human being, which is what I want. So I've got four crop tops from the Buff Bunny collection. I can't remember what these are called. They were $35 each though, Australian, which is a little bit more pricey, but they're very comfortable. So I'll show you what colors I got them in. So I'll show you the gray one. They're all exactly the same style, but I'll give you a quick look. So the gray, there, like I said, that cropped length, and the back's kind of a racer back, but not really. So it comes in a tiny little bit, but not all the way in like another racer back. So I've got that one in the charcoal gray, a peach color, khaki green, and a purple, like a plum purple. But I love these, and you'll see them in the trial, and they're just so flattering. Last but not least, I've got two tops from MZ Activewear. This is a company I found online a couple of months ago. They're a Melbourne based company, I'm pretty sure. And they sell like waist trainers and activewear. I've got two tops from them. They're a little bit lower than the Buff Bunny ones, but they're still cropped at that perfect length. So the, these ones are actually racer in the back, so they come right in and really show off your back. Um, they're really amazing quality material and these ones are $35 each as well. So I'll show you the first one. I've got this in, I forgot what they call this one. It's like moon dust or something, this color. But it's just like that. And yeah, right to back at the back. But these ones are like super stretchy, like really, really good quality. And then I've also got it in white. <clears throat> now, a couple qualms about the white. This was my favorite workout top for such a long time. But, I say but, because it is the hardest piece of white activewear to keep clean. I don't know what it is. I've shown you guys my abs to be fitness apparel leggings, like the white mesh tops. I've got Lorna Jane tops that are white and made out of the same really good quality material. But I'm not sure whether it is just because it's like really good quality or not. It just seems to attract the dirt. And like my partner's a tradie, so if I accidentally wash his stuff with my stuff, mm, there's dirt over everything. Anyway, so this is the top after I've just bleached it. Like I bleached this and washed this last night. So it is nice and white, but like it's still holding on to all of these stains 
and the back is so bad and I don't know what to do like it just won't come out and like I haven't been a slob with this I haven't been rolling around in the dirt or anything but I just don't understand it's such a nice top and you'll see when I try it on it's so flattering and the color like white just crisp white looks so good for active wear I think but trying to keep this clean is a nightmare I've bleached it countless amount of times I wash it all the time I'm using like anti-stain everything and I can't get the stains out and mm -hmm, I'll just have to buy like a wardrobe full of these and just keep getting a clean one out when I want to wear them anyway so that is everything that I had to show you so let me know what you think which brand was your favorite have you tried any of these brands before and yeah if you have any other good suggestions of stores that are like cheap or non activewear stores that you can still get activewear from let me know but these are most of like my favorite non mainstream I'm thinking I might do a video for you for some of my Gymshark collections because I have a few of those and then also Lorna Jane. I did work for them for quite a while so I've got a mass collection of Lorna Jane activewear. So if you guys are keen to see that, let me know down in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. That's where I'm most active and I'll be posting on there every day on my story as well as photos as many times a week as I can manage. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.